Hello, Scrap Mechanics! This here is Zaythein, bringing you another video from Scrap Mechanic. And you may find this world familiar, but, surprisingly, it's not nearly as laggy as it used to be. And, basically what I've done is a rewrite on my, uh, crane. Because I learned about the, uh, glitch where you can make remote control cars. So, as you can see here in the bottom of my vehicle, there's no engines, but I can still drive it around as though it had one. It's amazing. Um, I have this set up. In fact, you can see that kind of block over in the corner of the shop there, just on the open ground. That is... It's got eight engines in it, and it's just sitting there for um, my controls. That's where all the buttons are, that's where everything is to control my little cart here and the crane. So, uh, let's just uh, get started here and see what I can do. So, I'm going to bring the uh, crane closer here. And we're going to pick up this weight. The weight's laying in a weird position, but that's fine. Okay, I'm going to have to uh, slow down on the movement in the one direction. But I'll just wait till I'm past a certain spot so I don't have to worry about moving my little cart. Not that it matters, I can move the cart like nothing. In fact, I'll probably do that anyways, just to make everything easier and smoother. There we are. And now that I've got that set up, I'm probably going to have to actually pick up this little weight here because the chain is all the way down and I'm not quite low enough to reach that when it's sitting in the position it's sitting in. So I'm actually going to have to, uh, I don't know what's going on there, but anyway, um, let's set the weight here. That should be good. And, uh, now I'll pick it up, and we can uh, possibly get this done. So let's hit, there we go, that's not bad. How's that for alignment? I need to go a little bit farther, but before I get too close in here, I actually need to do some rotation. Come on, you. Come on, there we go. Stupid thing getting hooked on that. Whoa, wrong button. All right, that looks like it's actually kind of sit scraping that pipe on the bottom there. Oh, I turned it too much, didn't I? Yeah, I did. And there's a, only one problem with this is when I originally made it, I missed putting a bearing in. Or, uh, yeah, a second bearing in for this. So, and because it's the remote control system I'm using, I only have one direction of uh, rotation. So, kind of a little awkward to get things just right. And if I go past, I have to go all the way around. So, without further ado, let's... uh. Get ourselves lined up a little nicer. And see how well this thing lifts. Okay, we're close. Okay, we're there. Let's uh let's do a touch of that, maybe. There we in. Almost. We're in close enough. There we go. Let's uh, pick it up a little bit. I don't want to pick it up on that much of a slope. I just want to kind of get it hooked there so that it's able to... There we go. 
That was a good one. And I don't know, where do I want to put this? I can put this thing anywhere I want. So let's let's just go over here and kind of put it closer to the wall. I'll just go until this thing stops. And then I'll go that way with it a bit more. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. Let's do some of this and some of this. It's a little bit difficult driving both the crane and the car at the same time. But as you can see, it is possible. Um, let's. Yeah, that's almost against. I think that is against there. Okay, so we've hit that point. Um, I'm just going to get a better alignment so I can see what or where I am this way because I kind of want to be setting this in a certain way. So I'm going to try and rotate it 90 degrees. So here we go. And it is out a little bit too far into the middle there. That's actually not bad. It's a bit more than 90, but I don't care. So I'm going to just uh, move this that way a little bit and then lower it down. I apologize, my phone is ringing, but that's not a big deal. Let's do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, there we go. Let's do that. Let's see if we can unhook this beast. So, I want to go that way. The hook is kind of seeming to want to get stuck a little bit on things. So, there we go. We're clear. And then let's pull the, the hook up a ways so that it doesn't uh, get caught. And I don't want to pull it up too much because I find that if I pull it up too much... It uh, starts binding on itself, and then the top edge kind of jams up. So, yeah, I don't really like to do it too high. But anyways, that's my uh, crane. And as you can see, there was almost no lag that time at all. Um, there is still quite a bit of lag in this world, especially when I'm using the crane and around this truck, or that uh, dozer there. But and I really don't know what I'm driving over right there, but it's starting to upset me. Every time I go across there, it just slam, crash, like I'm hitting something. And it also does the same thing just near that. So I have a feeling there's something stuck underground there. That Well, it's rendering underground, but uh, part of its physics are above ground. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, there we go. That worked out actually better than I was expecting. So there we go. I'm parked over here by my engine block. And as you can see, that's really all it is, is just an engine block. So um, that is laid out like that because that's the way my keyboard is. One through six and then seven through 10, which makes for a really nice control scheme. I use um, 2, 3, and 4, and um, 8, as though it was W, A, S, and D, which is really handy. So I've got W, A, S, D controls for this, and almost W, A, S, D controls for my crane. So, anyways, if you liked my video, and would like to see more or even see how this was built, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.